Hello everybody, it's Tim for Sigma and I'm here for you guys, and you probably believe guys are thinking, what am I doing on this trash face channel? Yeah, I call him a trash face. Yeah. Because of what he's been doing to people, well, he was doing to people. Now, let's start off with saying, I'm sorry for being mean, no, I'm actually not. Okay, if you don't know who this guy is, why are you on YouTube? Um, but... He was like the number one scammer, I think. He scammed so many people that I literally think I lost count. His name is Rodian Jetty 14, and don't click that sub button unless you actually like his content. Which I don't know why you would. Um, I guess he has some other stuff other than Pokemon, so you could like that stuff. But, and he has so many views on videos, it's like really annoying is because of what he's been doing to people. Let's check out what he wrote on the about. Main choice I'd want. Okay, decent means I wouldn't get too mad at the top stars or expedition blames and gold star stars. Uh, I don't really care. Um, um, I don't really care. Really don't care, but um, but I don't care until now because I got this new thing with. Jolteon Collector, which I'm subscribed to, so I don't think that she's a scammer, but I don't know. One of my other subscriptions, um, what's his name? Um, R Rayleigh Thor says she is, so I don't know. Then she subscribed to me, and she isn't, so I don't know who I should believe. And you don't even deserve that number. He has the same number of subscriptions as I do. He doesn't even deserve that. God. So basically, we're gonna be talking about Poké scammers and how you can avoid them. Number one, tell them to send first. No, wrong. What if they watch the same video you are, and you're gonna get like a giant argument about, hey, I should be sending second, is because you're a Poké scammer, and then lose a Poké tubing friend forever. You shouldn't do that. Poké tubers should start together. Never ask them to send first unless they are willing to. Is because then you're just gonna break up a relationship if they say, Well, I want you to send first if they watch the same video. But what I want to do is tell you about some other stuff. Um, wow, he has. Wow, why would he even. I. Weird. Um, but what I want you to know is that the Pokemon Society will spread the word so if you do get scammed. First of all, you need to know the difference between scamming and not scamming. But Nintendo vs Sega M, if he doesn't send his cards, then that counts as scamming. No, it doesn't. Not yet. If you trade like a Shining Charizard or like a Crystal Charizard and like for 90 and level X or something, whatever your trade is, you literally do need to pay attention. Because if you missed out one or two cards, you should PM him. Don't post a video right away saying, oh, he's a scammer. Because he isn't. Probably he isn't. He may have just forgotten. Now, in Rodi and Jetty's case, I don't believe a single word. He scammed multiple people. I don't like him. I, I personally haven't traded with him because of that reason. Is because I before I got... Before, when I saw his free video, um, I wasn't subscribed to him. But just before that, I saw like a big pop-up and stuff. But he's a scammer. But, um... Truthfully, guys, you shouldn't judge people. And don't post scamming videos because other people are going to get that. And that person's YouTube account will go downhill. And if he isn't a scammer, it's your job to post an apology video. So if you don't just... That's not nice. Um, I'm on his channel because let me just show you how many people this kid, yeah, he's a kid scam. People threatened to arrest him. Pokemon, no, man. He got some mail. He only sends cards if it's there. Look, let's count one, two, uh, never mind. One, two, three, four. He has a lot of videos. Four. Alright, I'll show you how many. I'm gonna type in scammer up here. So, yeah. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Really? 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 You're gonna- Oh no, no I don't- <laughs> That's funny. This is just horrible. He said multiple people. I think we took down some of their things when they thought he wasn't posting videos anymore, which he doesn't, so that's good. Look at this! That is not good. He doesn't send you anything, and he takes the money too. Scammer word. Oh, this is nice. This is nice at all. You know, if I filter out his videos, will he really just stop? Just. I, I'm not even kidding. This is really annoying that his videos come before the others. Okay, so we're gonna skip that, but if you guys are paying attention, that means he's a giant scammer, and that's not good. Now, what he did was. You have a trade or sell a card and he'd get the money. But then after that, um, he kinda didn't send anything. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Um, basically, he pretty much made one dude cry and it's just not nice. Uh, basically, it's just like really mean and not good at all. So, we're gonna head back to my channel. I'm done with this. It's like really bad. Um, imagine if uh, all 14 Rodian and Jetties were all scammers. I think that'd be horrible. But whatever. Um, that'd be kind of funny. But basically, this is bad on its own that he would scam so many people. He would lie about it in post my videos about how he has good cards and all that stuff. And the thing is that he scams people who doesn't have, who don't have many subscribers. Like they have like one or two subscribers, so they they can't really put out their word. But then when he tried to scam the bigger deals, let's just say he got well when he tried to poke a bull, he got the horn. I don't really know what that saying is, but basically it's like that. Now the newest scammer that I think I'm not sure is Jolteon Collector. Basically, what she did was that she didn't send out the cards, but she said that she was in the hospital. I don't know what to believe. So many things, so little time. So here's what you could do to prevent this from happening to you. Number one, check background. Scammer videos, look at, if there's like 30, 40 pages, go through one fast, and if you see a single word that says scammer, stop, look at that video. If it says that person's name, click on it, watch it. If even if it's like 30, 40 minutes long, do that. But if it is not up there, then it's really not a scammer. You could look through like 10 pages or so, then you'll know that it isn't. Or you could just look through video length. Because you can on scammer videos is pretty short because the person's mad and they'll stop very fast. Next thing that you could do to sh find out if the person's a scammer or not is how they write to you and what cards you're doing. If they're selling you cards, you have to obviously send money first. But basically, it's illegal for them not to send you cards because you're sending money. And basically, Photo I means take a picture of every message they send you and every message you accept just in case you really need them to give you back their money. Now, with cards. Now, this is the hardest thing is because you, it's not illegal to take cards from someone else, but it is horrible. Let's just put it that way. The way you could avoid this is number one, stay clean. What you do is once. They agree to send first or second, whatever it is. Once you send first, truthfully, there's really not much you can do to prevent this from happening to you again. But get the word out. Like, if someone scammed me and, like, I only have 94 subs and only 94 people would know, I would go to, um, Jimmy Pat Pokemon and ask him to post a scammer video. Or I would go to Rayleigh Thor or someone who has more subscribers than me. Because then they will help me spread the word that don't subscribe or do this. That's another way that you can stop the person from scamming ever again. But the most common way of knowing if the scammer or not is the way he writes he or she writes to you. If he's trading you, or he, if the scammer is trading you a very rare card, ask them to send first. Like if they're trading like a Charizard shiny, but if you're trading a very rare card, be clear. That they should not be a scammer. What you should do is look at how they write. If they just write, well, if they're very like, 
let's just say open to the condition and tell you like oh it's mint condition and ask them a question that they would they would have to know like what pack did you pull it from um if they say i don't know then that's fine but if they do know the pack then that means they've done their research or that they actually do have the card ask them to send the video to you and say that um and ask them to send a tracker if they can through the video thing so if you ask them to send a tracker to how many days it, it was shipped and what happened then the chance of you getting scammed is much smaller but before we go on with the scammer i would just like to say time wasters and scammers are two different things so don't get them mixed up timers are time wasters are people who waste your time and they send up three four months and basically you get it after you post a scammer video so basically that's what they are but then scammers are totally different things they never send but what you should do is um demand it back or you'll give them a consequence they'll probably laugh at you of course but then you'll give them the consequence by telling a higher person to do that they might shut down the youtube channel but open eight more or something hunt them down and do this now with Rodi and Jetty's channel still up, and I'm almost 100% sure that he's still standing people as another YouTuber. Um, but the last thing I want to tell you about scammers, guys, guys, they're just cards. I understand some of them might be like $300, $400. Some of them might have been your, the first card you ever pulled. But just, guys, keep in mind that they are cards, and no matter the price, you can get them back. And basically, guys, if you get scammed, don't worry. There's a lot of things you could do. Of course, I am not an expert, so I will... Link a video down in the description below on how to prevent scammers if um, this video didn't help you. So, number one, see how they're writing. If they're not very clear or specific on things that they're doing, you should, your um, bell should go off. Then you should um, definitely go ahead and check out their channel. It has there been any trades done? Trusted traders, then go check out their YouTube account. And if there is nothing on trading, like no TCBM, no CBM, that means there's a reason why no one traded with them. Or they don't just post videos. But you should ask them, why don't you post TCBM videos? They might answer you, um, well, because I don't really want to. And if you'll ask them why, then they, if they can't answer, they'll probably not answer ever. And that should be another warning sign. And you should go check out their name. Go through every page. No matter what, go through it. And find out how many... People will think that it's that the person is a scammer. Don't give up if you are a scammer. Ask people higher than you and subscribers to go ahead and help. That is basically what I have for you guys. And I'll link our video down in the description below for everyone who really wants that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, by the way, I'm working on a trade. So I'm not a scammer. I put a trusted trader line over here. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh wait, sorry, just before I press done. Oh sorry. My Ladios and my Articuno reprint are gonna be gone probably, so for my trade binder. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.